Okay, so now we want to look at some, exam some examples where we're adding sign numbers. And we, again, remember that idea. If they have the same sign, we'll add them up, keep that sign. Otherwise, we'll subtract and keep the sign the larger number. So we begin here with negative 40 plus 28. So we would do the difference, 40 minus 28, which would be 12. And we need to keep that negative sign. So the answer would be negative 12. Consider this next example, negative 242 plus a positive 308. Once again, we're going to do the difference. This time we're going to write it out, 308 minus 242. And so we subtract, 8 minus 2 is 6. We'd have to borrow, uh, so we do 10 minus 4 is 6. And then 3, because we borrow, would now be a 2. And 2 minus 2 is 0. And so we get 66. And now because the positive number was bigger, the answer is positive 66. Okay. <clears throat> In our next example here, we have decimals. Nothing changes. This time they're both negative. So we're going to add the numbers up. So remember when we add decimals, we have to line up the decimal point, And then we just add. Uh, 5 and nothing is 5, 4 and 7 is 11, we carry the 1 over, 1 and 2 is 3. So we get 3.15, since they were both negative, we keep that negative sign. So the answer is negative 3.15. Uh, as another example, again with decimals, uh, we have 7.42 plus a negative 4.8. So they have different signs, so we're going to subtract them. Larger minus smaller, so 7.42 minus 4.8. So remember when we add or subtract decimals, we line them up. And then we just do our subtraction. 2 minus nothing is nothing. So for the 4, we're going to have to borrow uh, from the 7. The 7 will turn into a 6. The 4 will turn into a 14. 14 minus 8 is 6. And then 6 minus 4 is 2. So we get 2.62. And since the positive number, <clears throat> since the positive number uh, was bigger, the answer will be a positive 2.62. In this next example here, we're adding two fractions. My advice with fractions is to first get a common denominator and then set about adding. So for 5 and 8, we would need a common denominator. Common denominator would be 40. And so for 5, we had to multiply 5 times 8 to get 40. So we'd multiply the top times 8. 3 times 8 is 24. That'll stay as negative 24. And then 8 times 5 gave me 40. So in the top 2 uh, times 5 would make that 10. At this point, we can just focus on the numerators. Forget about the denominator. Negative 24 plus 10. We're adding. They have different signs. So we do the difference. 24 minus 10 is 14. And keep that negative sign. And then as with fractions, sometimes you have to reduce. Uh, well, we always have to reduce. Sometimes we'll have ones where we do have to reduce. And in the case of 14 and 40, we can divide a 2 out of both. And get our answer negative 7 over 20.